Here is a pretty classic sort of questions that you might receive, which is underneath this heading of probability, but because there is, in this phrase here, there's built into this phrase lots of different ways to combine these different things. So that's what makes this counting arrangements and, count and combinations and what have you, as well as probability. Okay? Now remind me, if you want to find the probability of an event, okay, it's a fraction, what are you dividing by what? What's on the top and what's on the bottom? The chances of, the, on the top is like the chances of getting the event. Okay, pause for a second. We want a specific event, but the whole thing is a chance, right? So there's something up here which constitutes part of the chance, but that's not chances, right? What do I have up here that I'm going to have to divide through? Yeah, I'll probably say number of ways, number of ways to get the thing that you're after. That's, that's what you were um, finishing, right? So up here is number of ways for the event, whatever it might be, like having two hearts and three clubs, or four aces or something like that. How many ways in that ca can that happen? And then what's the total sample space, which is another way of saying, what's the number of ways you could do anything, right? What's the number of ways you could do anything? Now you can see, we now have all of these, see these? This is all this language that we've just developed for working out what your numerator is and what your denominator is, okay? So, let's think about this. We'll start with the easy part of the question first. Sample space, that's just no restrictions, no conditions, nothing. You've just got, how many cards in a pack? You've got 52. Maybe we want to write that. I'll write here. 52 cards in a pack. And the other important thing that you're not going to get told that you, is worth knowing is a hand, whether it's poker or this or that, a hand is five. That's why we call it a hand. Okay. So a hand is five cards. So what do you want to test if they're always talking about something that are... Okay, if you don't know it, you would hope that the question itself would actually explain it to you, but I'm telling you right now, they very likely will not tell you how many cards there are in a pack. They'll just expect that you know, and that there are four suits, and they're not going to tell you that that's the case. I just didn't know the hand. No joke. Yeah, so I'm telling you now. Okay? So now we know... How many cards there are to choose from? How many options there are? And we also know how many we want out of the options. So what's the sample space? Sample space? Now I think we all know there's going to be a 52 and there's going to be a 5, right? But then the next question becomes, is it a permutation or is it a combination? Does it matter what order the cards are in when you get them? And the answer is no, because as soon as they're in your hand, you can shuffle them around, do whatever you like, and it's still the same hand, right? Does that make sense? So therefore, I should be using C, right? Okay. Now, this is a really big number, yeah. This The event. Whatever the event might be. Now, you have a calculator there, right? You've got a calculator. Maybe you want to get it out. Before you go ahead and punch this in, right, I want you to notice 52C5, 52C5. Before I actually get this thing to do the work for me, I can work out what 52C5 should be, right? It should be, what's on the numerator? It's gonna be, hey, by the way, that's a really big number, okay? Divided by, okay, what am I dividing by? Five factorial times 47 factorial. Yeah? Have we done it right? Now, Clearly you can do some simplifying here. Probably the easiest bit is to say, hey, look at all of these terms. The vast majority of them are going to cancel with these guys. Does that make sense? So I'm going to get these big ones here all the way, oops, it's a 49, all the way down until, well, that's it, isn't it? That's the last one. And then what have I got on the bottom? Five by four, by three, by two, by one. Okay. All right, this is still a considerable number. What is it? Um, 2,598,960. Okay. Which is why poker is so interesting to play, because you can keep on getting lots of different options for a long time. Okay? Lots of money. So, yeah, that's right. So now my next question is, well, if this is the sample space, how many ways are there to get these two things to happen? Okay, let's take it one piece at a time. You want to pick two hearts. Right? Now this is exactly the same question as we had before, except it's just like a little part of the deck. Right? 
There are four suits. What are they, by the way? Hearts, clubs, diamonds, diamond spades. Okay, so you have four to choose from. So in each of the suits, if there's a quarter in each, there's 13, right? That might be worth jotting down. 13 per suit. Okay. So now what I'm trying to work out is, and by the way, I mean, I just said this to the extension two people in the morning, but please, for Pete's sake, use some words, okay? Don't, don't just write a whole bunch of like, this P that, this C that. Tell me what you're doing, right? So I've, taught, I've said this is the sample space. So now I want to get the number of ways of getting two hearts. Okay, the number of ways of getting two hearts. Okay. Now, how many hearts are there to choose from? How many options are there? There are 13, right? And I want any two of them. I don't care about their order. Like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's the number of ways of getting two hearts. Now I look at this part over here, right? The ways of getting three clubs. How many ways? 13? Yeah, very good. Okay, so I've got all of these pieces here and I haven't bothered to work out what these numbers are. Now the big question becomes, well, how do I combine them? Now there's an easy bit. Um, down here, we know the sample space, that 52C5, that's going to be on the bottom. Okay, so therefore I can say the probability is going to be, and I've got 52C5 on the bottom, this huge number. Okay. Now then the question becomes, well, with these other two numbers I've got, in what way do I combine them together to get the numerator? Okay, so suggestion one is multiplying them like this. Okay, now let's just think for a moment, just contemplate. Why would this make more sense than adding? Because it does. Well, if it was probability that you will get both two hearts and three clubs, is obviously going to be less than getting two hearts and three clubs. Oh, sorry. Wait, two say that or, again. Or three clubs. So, okay, yep. so, so if someone said, okay, what's the chance that you're going to get two hearts and three clubs? Well, that chance is going to be lower than getting two hearts or three clubs. Okay, so that's true. Yeah, that's true. The, if, so when you have like and, the chance becomes lower. So it's times because it... No, I don't know what I'm saying. Hmm. Okay, now you said a lot of right things, but I think there's still a bit confusing okay. here with whether that means I should add or multiply. What do you reckon? What um, would you like to try and or, take um, You could have two hearts and your other three cards just doesn't... It doesn't matter what they are. Mm -hmm. Right, so then you have a, a you only have that combination, like you only need to consider uh, the combination for the two hearts, mm -hmm. and if it's an or, you can only you can get that, or you can just get three clubs and two of anything else. Okay, before I get the other suggestions, because we still haven't, I think there's still more to say here. Let me just put. I'll, I'll come down to you. So don't just make your hands out. I will come to you. That was a really important question to ask, and it's worth answering now. What if it were or instead of and? By the way. The, the and is the crucial word, okay? So what this means is, okay, uh, my sample space is still going to be 52C5. Yeah, I think we all agree with that. But now you can say, well, all right, first I've got to get two hearts. We know what that is. And then you have to say, well, how many cards do you get to choose from for your other three cards? If all I care about is two hearts. And the answer is just wh whichever is left over. Right? All the other cards, right, which I can choose from, okay? Now, how many are left? I've already taken 13 out, right? Yeah, two. Taken two. Wait, two I've taken two out? Two so three. how many are left? Two. I had to pick out three more to complete my hand, right? That was just for the two hearts. It's just for the two hearts. But then in addition to that, I can work out the three clubs, which is going to work out in much the same way. 13C3. Three. Three. And 49. two to complete my head. Is that it? Which bit? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I want to look at what happens. Think about the events and what's taking place, right? You've chosen out of the hearts. There are only 13 hearts to choose from, right? You chose two of them. Done. Whatever that number happens to be. Okay. And then you're like, but I've got I've got three spots that are empty. And I have to fill them. 
How many choices do I have? How many options do I have that I could use to fill them? And the answer is, there are still 50 cards left in the pack and I could pick any of them. I could pick more hearts if I wanted. I don't care. Um, I could pick other suits. They're all part of that 50. Does that make sense? And it's the same way how I get the 49. Okay? Now, this is getting to your question, right? Like, which of these, think, which of these numbers is bigger? It's, is it going to be this one? Or is it going to be that one? I think it's going to be satisfied. Well, let me ask you this. Is it more likely that you've got to satisfy con two conditions or more likely that you can satisfy either of them at any given time? Either is a lot easier rather than like both at exactly the same time, right? This is a much smaller number. This number is tiny compared to this guy, yeah. right? Just look at that. Just look at this guy for a second. This guy is massive, right? You could be doing this all day and you'd have lots of different combinations, okay? Uh, not just all day. All right, so just coming back a little bit. Does anyone, because I saw there were a few more hands up just to justify why this is times and not add. It's just like what you did for like the hearts. Why would you multiply for getting hearts? Like to get two hearts, you have to multiply 13. 12, right? Mm -hmm. It's like normal. Yep. But this is like the same hand. So yeah, that's right. That's why you multiply and not add like a separate. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. Okay, another way to think about this, right, is that you think about each of the cards that are being developed. And I can't finish this because this is gonna go this is gonna go really far, right? But you need this one and this one and this one and, and you keep on going all the way until I can do there we go to some fifth card, right? And we know you multiply along branches when you're getting all of them together, right? You only add, you only add if... It's yeah, it's, two, it's like these guys, and then there's these guys as a different alternative, right? And they can't happen simultaneously. If you've done, done those, you've got 10 cards in your hand, right? Does that make sense? You chose three and then you chose two and then you chose three, then three and then two, that's too many cards, okay? So, yeah, question. I'm gonna ask like for 13C2 and 13C3, that part. Like, you guys? Even, like by choosing one out, you would eliminate one choice, one choice from the pile of cards. Mm -hmm. And I've already, 13C3 already takes care of that, right? Because remember, look, here it is. Here's like, like say 10C3, right? I've already taken care of the fact that there's 10 and then nine and then eight and then seven. It's not 10 and then 10 and then 10 and then 10. I'm already, oh. this thing's getting smaller. Oh. This is already taking care of whether I'm replacing it or not. Okay. okay? Um, everything pretty much is really replacement when we're dealing with factorials. That's why they get smaller and smaller and smaller because you're having less options as you progress. Okay. Now, this is a really big number. Does someone want to tell me what it is? Does someone want to 900 and? It's 143 on 1660. 146. Like that? Okay, wonderful. 